What's up YouTube? This is Sean. I am back and we're going to convert these tacky shoes into these awesome cosplay boots. Well, we're not actually making boots. We're going to be making some gaiters that's going to go over your shoes. And they're going to look like really cool boots. And here are the patterns that I'm going to use, which is going to be the front, the uh, shoe part, I guess that's what you call it. And then the back piece. And the back piece is actually going to be cut twice per side. And as for the front part, I'm going to use this uh, quarter inch headliner foam material and the pleather that I use for the gloves, which you can get at Walmart or whatever. They, they use this for like table covers, so you can actually use like different material. This was just really cheap, so I went ahead and went with this. So I went ahead and cut the foam material and the pleather at the same time. You see that? I just uh, made your job easier. And then I'm also going to fold the material over and then cut the back pieces because you're going to need two of these for the back. Now you can actually use a different type of material for the back. Let's say if you want it to be stretchy, if you were planning to stretch this over some some pants or something like that then you know you can actually use um, stretch material but I'm gonna keep it all the same just because why not right I already have it out so there you go I have two of these materials and then this is what the um, the shoe part cover this this covers the front part of the shoe all right now I'm going to sew the the, the front part of the shoe let's call this the toe in all right I'm gonna sew this to the 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 front part of the boot now I'm sewing two layers of pleather on top of a quarter inch foam so the machine is actually doing its job pretty well they actually make a walking foot which I didn't feel like installing but I'll use that in a in a future video just so you know what I'm talking about but um, it just goes to show that you can actually use um, a normal foot you just got to take it easy nice and slow and uh, so far this is what you should have with the, uh, the the toe in and the front part of the boot sewn together and then now I'm gonna go ahead and sew one of the sides now there is a registration mark that meets up with the front and toe in meets up so I'm gonna make sure that the registration mark lines up before I start stitching and I may need to hold the material together just in case the um, the pieces starts to drift because that kind of happens if you're not using a walking foot and you got two smooth materials sliding on each other and that's kind of the reason why I didn't really use foam for the back half it wasn't necessary anyways but it would have been a lot more difficult to sew uh, two layers of pleather and then two layers of quarter inch foam together So this is what it should look like with one side sewn on now. I'm gonna go ahead and sew on the other side Just like that Now that I've got all the pieces sewn together I'm gonna go ahead and hem the top of the boot and the um, the lower or the toe end of the boot when you're hemming up the top edge, you want to be careful when you come up to this seam right here because you got a bundle of material. So you want to make sure you kind of help the machine by pulling the back half or back end and then and then kind of I don't know, pushing the front end in a little bit. This will make it easier for you to sew. You always want to start and end your stitches with a back stitch. This will keep the, the threads from coming apart on you. And uh, yeah, so far it's looking like that on the top. Now it's time to do the bottom. The bottom is a little bit difficult. I, I wouldn't say difficult. There's a little, there's, there's a few more steps there because you, know, you got your toe in and there's some corners there. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start from one end. And then of course you be careful when you hit that seam and when you come up to the very tip of that toe or the end of that toe you want to do a back stitch 
and then fold your material over. So I'm giving myself about a quarter inch, maybe maybe more than a quarter inch, less than half inch. Let's say let's just say three eighths of an inch of uh, seam allowance right here. And then when I hit this corner right here, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to backstitch far enough to where I can fold the seam allowance over. And then put my needle on top of that piece that I fold over right there. And then I'm going to continue with the, the hemming. So this is another way of doing your corners. This is the way I normally do it. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. But there, yeah, I just showed you two ways of doing it. And now that I have both the top and the bottom hemmed up, it's time to go ahead and sew the middle down. And uh, this should basically be it. I mean, you know, backstitch. I'm going to do a couple more backstitch than I normally do, just because it's the back of the shoes or back of the boot. I want a little bit more reinforcement there at those joints or that corner. And the same goes for this piece right here, the top. I went back over it a few times so now it's time to do some cleanup snipping off all those uh, unnecessary threads because you know it's good to be neat I'm not always neat though I'm real sloppy actually so that's pretty much it you just turn or flip it outside in or inside out and then uh, time to try it on now this would actually work better if I had some slip-on shoes, but these dress shoes are the only thing that I have right now, but it'll work. Now if I was to do it again, or if I was to go shopping for new shoes, I would probably find me something that matched the, um, the pleather material. Or maybe just find material that matched the shoe. That would work too. But either way, it still look cool. I mean, still pull it off. You can actually use tennis shoes too. If you have black tennis shoes, these will go over it just fine. And you can also attach some Velcro to the shoes, but I'm not going to ruin these shoes. These are the only dress shoes I've, I've owned. I've had these for like 30 years. 30 plus, maybe 40. But I'm not that old. So this is a quick and easy, cheap solution to cosplay booting. Um, I see some that's like way up there and I was able to do these for under 20 bucks so I got some some gloves and some boots that match kinda and they're really easy to store away I mean you don't necessarily have to fold it up like this I mean if you were like a neat neat person then you could and then just kinda stack them and stash them away and you could actually repurpose these for other cosplays too because you know they're not you know painted a specific color and Black's a common color for boots, and uh, you can actually use it on, I don't know, different color material and, and whatever. Y y you know what I mean. Now, I actually made this for my Patman suit, for those of you guys that thought that I might have abandoned the whole EVA foam stuff. So here's a sneak peek of the next video, and the uh, video after that. Check the link in the description down below if you want to get yourself a head start. And uh, yeah, hit that like button if you got something out of this video. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button twice. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment.